Hello again YouTube, it's Carrie with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be doing a look that's inspired by the blue and gold macaw, which is a large bird found in South America. First we're going to do is get our primer potion or whatever eyelid primer you'd like to use and prime your eyelid. Make sure you definitely get in the corner because we have a lot of bright colors and you want to make sure they all stick. Also go underneath your eye, under your lash line, since we will be putting color there. Next, I'm going to take my color cream base in Luna by MAC. It's like a white, uh, shimmery white. And I'm going to put it over the primer potion all the way up to my brow bone and across my lid. And you can put this on pretty thick if you'd like. It just helps the colors stick a little bit more and show up a lot nicer. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cone brush, you can use any one you'd like, and min mineral shadow from Beauty from the Earth in Green Apple. It's a loose shadow and it's really pretty. Get some of that on your brush, tap off the excess because this does have a lot of fallout, and do the very inner corner of your eye and around your tear duct. McCall's have a lot of teal in them as well as the yellow and blue, so we want to accent that. Next, I'm going to take Max Chrome Gold Eyeshadow, or Chrome Yellow rather and put it on my 239 eyeshadow brush. Really pack it on there. And then go to the middle of your lid and just really pack that color on there. Don't worry about it mixing with the green because we're going to blend that soon. Okay, Take it up past your crease and take it over to about three quarters of your eyelid. Okay. Next, pick up your comb brush again and some more of the green apple eyeshadow and just work that into and up through your crease a little bit of the chrome yellow. Make sure you're blending really well. You can also put some in the corner of your eye and down a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is take an eyeliner pencil, a 24-7 cream eyeliner by Urban Decay in electric. It's a bright blue color. And where your outer V is, just draw it on like you were putting your eyeshadow on and take it down to your lid. It doesn't have to go all the way across, just meet the yellow and fill it in some. What that's going to do is make our blue pop even brighter. Okay, and then we're going to take a shadow brush, a 239, and from our Urban Decay Deluxe Shadow Box Palette, we're going to use Peace, which is that blue color. Tap off the excess and go over where you just put the eyeliner. You can work it into the yellow to blend it, but try not to make it too blended because they do make green. So Just make sure you really get it on there, pack it on so it's very bright, vibrant and bright. Now if you want, you can go back over with the chrome yellow and just lightly dust over the blue that we just put on because the main focus of the center of the lid is the yellow. So you really want to get that on there. Okay. And after you're done with that, take an angled brush, any type, I use a MAC, and grab some of your Green Apple Beauty from the Earth shadow. And just go under your eye and under your lash line to about the distance that you did on your lid. After you're done with that, you're going to pick up your Chrome Yellow again by MAC. Get that on your brush. 
and do the same thing under your lash line where the yellow is on your upper lid. You want to match the distance there. And once you have enough of that chrome yellow under your eye and you're satisfied with it, you can go back to your Urban Decay palette and take out Peace, the blue color, and do the very same thing under the outer V of your eye. Just tying that blue in there. You can blend it with the yellow a bit. You do want to blend some because you don't want it to be three harsh colors. Okay. And that's that. What I did was, you don't have to, but I did apply false lashes. Um, they're MAC and they're number 42. They're very large and very feathery like a bird feather. So I applied some Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. And then I applied my false lashes. You don't have to do this if you want, but it just ties it in because, you know, McCall's our bird, do have large feathers, and I don't know, I just think it really completes the look. Okay. Once you have your false lashes on and set, you can always go over them with a black liquid liner or a gel liner just to conceal the eyelash band. For blush, you can use any color. I would suggest something tropical, more on the pinky side, but you don't want it to be too, too bright. I used Coralista by Benefit. It's a really pretty pink color. And as far as lips are concerned, I'm using Nice to be Nice uh, Hello Kitty Lip Gloss from MAC. It's like a very sheer orange color. because it definitely brings in a tropical essence. You can use a dazzle glass or if you want to use like a tangerine colored lipstick under your lip gloss that's fine too. But just stick with the tropical motif. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed making it for you guys. And you can just subscribe over there and I'm going to have a lot more videos and start uploading a ton more tutorials for you guys. So, have fun. Bye.